You don't hear of a lot of athletes being an art major. You know, when I tell people I'm an art major, they're like, what? <laughs> being a softball player and kind of like the designated team designer is a great experience because I get to help out my teammates in what they need and also grow my skills as well. A lot of people think that art is just a hobby, but you can make it your own career if that's what you're passionate about and that's what I'm passionate about. And I just took that step forward and I said, yeah, this is what I wanna do. I'm from Granger, Indiana. It's in the uppermost north part of Indiana. My front yard is in the state of Indiana and my backyard is in the state of Michigan. I started playing softball when I was eight or nine years old, which is a little later than most. When I figured out that I liked softball, I just kept with it. And the best part was playing outside with a group of girls and we would travel all across the country. You would just create these memories with all these girls and bonds with them. I actually didn't notice that she was so fast until softball when we started seeing the other girls and she had an immediate liking to it and she had a good skill set for it. She really liked how the coaches took hold of her skill set with her speed and her left-handed abilities and to take those two and bring them together. It just really drove her passion for softball. Ever since I was little, I've always been into art, very creative. My mom actually is very creative as well and she kind of helped me develop my skills with drawing that's kind of how I developed my love for art. She's always been creative and she could apply it visually. We did anything and everything. Chalk, paint, sewing, scrapbooking, coloring, drawing. We, we did them all. I think where softball and art or graphic design intersected was in high school. They lost the person that was doing the banners for the varsity softball team. Katie was on varsity. The coach reached out to us and said, hey, could Katie do it? She developed the senior banners those remaining years and she just really took a liking to it. And so we just started seeing that, like helping her develop her graphic design skill. My sophomore year of high school, I took a graphic design class and I fell in love with it. It became like my hobby at first and I realized that I was pretty good at it and people would continue to tell me that, wow, this is, this is pretty good stuff. And then I was like, okay, maybe I could do this as a career. When I was in the recruiting process, searching for colleges, graphic design, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. So I looked for places that I could pursue that. And MSU was a place that I could. Originally, I came to school and I was a graphic design major. So I took classes to build my skills and grow in my graphic design abilities. Educationally, I was looking for more. And so that's when I realized I wanted to do more in the athletics department. I mean, we go out of our way to make sure our student athletes have every opportunity to figure out what they want to do. Now it's up to them to do it. When she mentioned it, that is certainly an area that we need. In fact, she might be one of the first I've ever had that does that. And in Katie's case, I mean, you just needed to see one thing and you said, oh, this kid's talented. I've been a softball player pretty much my whole life and it's scary to go on the other side because it's out of my comfort zone. You're not the player, but you're the person behind the scenes and I was really nervous that my stuff wasn't going to be good enough or I wouldn't be able to contribute, but it was all a growing and learning opportunity. I'm the student designer in the athletic department. I get a chance to express myself through my art and be creative in my own ways outside of softball. Looking back, I'm glad I did take that step and learn and grow in the other side of athletics. When I go into the athletic department and start my work, that was where the magic happened with me, where I learned so much and grew so much in my skills. And a lot of what I learned is there's a lot that goes into it that as a player, you have no idea. That's where I like really found my passion for graphic design and it was like basically snap of a finger, I knew like this is what I want. 
it comes so quick to her. The turnaround is amazing. She's not a kid that needs days and weeks and months. I mean, bang, you give her an idea and it's done like the next day or in two days. Katie has really grown and matured. I mean, just look at what she did her freshman year and what she just created for our team posters this year. I mean, there's no doubt her stuff's a lot better and it's more sophisticated in my opinion in terms of what she can do. I'm super proud of her. I mean, just really, really proud of how far she's come. A dream job for me would be to work for a pro team. That's kind of where my passion lies is in sports, but also still in design. Working in the athletic department has been a great growing opportunity for her and how she can apply her skills going forward. She's gotten a great experience across the board and she loves what she's doing. Coming into Michigan State, she didn't really know what she wanted to do. I think she has a good sense of what that is now. Super proud of her. Ever since I've been here, I would call Michigan State my home. MSU definitely has given me the right tools that I need to be successful in my career. You just have to take them. They present so many opportunities for you here. And I took them, I took that step. And being able to play softball here, it was my dream ever since I was little to be a collegiate softball player. And for Michigan State to fulfill that dream was just the best thing I could ask for. And then on top of that, the opportunities that Michigan State has given me from a graphic design standpoint was even better. I don't think I could have gotten this anywhere else. It's literally the best place ever.